that particular executive order is a tremendous overreach of the federal government into into the states. I will say that. I'll also say that I do believe that uh, transgenders participating in women's sports will destroy women's sports. It will uh, ruin the opportunity for girls to earn scholarships. It will put a glass ceiling back over women that hasn't been there, and sometimes I think it's bad for women and for women's sports. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee there, going after one of President Biden's first executive orders, which calls on schools not to discriminate based on sexual orientation or gender identity, including in youth sports. Critics say the move puts women-born athletes at a disadvantage if they are forced to compete against transgender students. Former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley put it this way. The order was framed as a matter of transgender rights, but really it was an attack on women's rights. My next guest is suing the Connecticut Interscholastic Athletic Conference over this policy. Selena Sewell joins me now, along with Christine, Kristen Wagner, general counselor uh, at Alliance Defunding Freedom. Thank you both for being with me. Um, first of all, you know, I'm just curious from a student athlete perspective, what this means to you, what you're fighting exactly. We are fighting for fairness in women's sports because throughout all four years of high school, I was forced to compete against biological males in the girls category. And it was a very frustrating and demoralizing experience being forced to compete against somebody who you know no matter what, you'll never be able to beat them because of the great physical advantages they have over you. Selena, is this something that you have experienced personally? This is, something I've, I, I, this is something I have experienced throughout all four years of high school, and it was, and I lost out on the opportunity to qualify for the regional New England meet in 2019 because I was beaten by two biological males, and if they were not there in the race, then I would have been able to qualify for the meet. And Harris, you know, in, I, I wanna... in, in, actually over a two-year period, these two boys took over 15 state championship titles from otherwise deserving girls. Yeah, and, and Kristen, I, I want to follow up, too, because I was going to come to you on this point. You know, in part of the pushback or legal uh, defense, science has been quoted. How does that work? What, what exactly are you saying? Well, feelings can't change reality. And while ADF has been at the forefront sure. of this issue, we're aligned with a broad coalition on the left and the right that recognizes there are real legitimate differences between the sexes and when the law doesn't recognize those differences, it's primarily women and girls that take the brunt of that harm. And that's what we're seeing in Connecticut. And the Biden order nationalizes that harm. You know, Selena, when you look at this, these are other students like yourself. And, and I've been reading, this is not personal to you. This is your whole career looking ahead. You talked about what you'd missed out on. I lost out on the opportunity to qualify for the regional New England meet as well as better placement in other meets. And there are, I know, countless other girls who have lost out on even state championship titles. And it's just a very frustrating experience because all we hope to gain by this is fairness to be restored to our sport. And what are some of your fellow athletes, your student athletes, Selena, saying about how they want things to change. What I mean, because you don't want to hurt members of the LGBTQ community, but what would you like to see as a remedy to this? I think that biology should be the reason why the sports are separated, and that's why they have been separated, and that's why Title IX was, was enacted, is because there are biological differences between a man and a woman, and there's nothing that can be done to change that. Uh, Kristen Wagner, the, the general counsel in this, I see you nodding your head. Well, she's absolutely right. The science is on our side, and we do treat all people with dignity and respect. But it's wrong to gut legal protections for women, and it's not just about sports. Yes, sports have tremendous benefits for girls. We can see that through statistics and how things play out. 96% of all women CEOs played competitive sports. But it's more than sports. 
It's women not having privacy rights in locker rooms and women's shelters. It's health care providers that are being forced to provide treatment that they believe hurts patients. And it's about the millions of parents and the kids who are in the public schools that are now being taught that there, there aren't any such thing as boys or girls. So we do need to restore fair play to women's sports and recognize that if being equal doesn't mean being identical. There are legitimate reasons to recognize these distinctions, and sports is the first and foremost one. You, that 96% of women CEOs played competitive sports, that is such a huge number. I, I have to let you go, but I want to give you 10 or so seconds to answer this. What is the pushback against you? Because I would imagine there has been. I think the pushback against us is simply radical ideology that there is no such thing as biological distinctions or boys and girls. And so it's not just about sports, but sports seems to be the low hanging fruit. In terms of sports, we know that there are no, there's no amount of uh, testosterone suppressants that can erase these biological differences. And so we need to restore fair play and our girls deserve better. Americans need to stand up and speak up with the Department of Education in their local communities and in their school boards across this nation. And you've given that next question that I always ask, the action part. Kristen Wagner is the general <laughs> counselor and is the fabulous student athlete and all around wonderful young woman. Uh, Selena Soul, I wish you the best moving forward. Thank you for appearing Thank on you. the Faulkner Focus. Thank you. We're always looking for those ways to look out for other people. And uh, student athletes are such a huge part of the journey in the country.